go look and see if Mr. Butterfly has flown away. He's still there. I think he was exhausted yesterday from fluttering. He was there a very, very long time. His wings look like they're in good condition. I think he's just, he's just resting. Good morning, happy Thursday. Mr. Butterfly's still there. I hope he flies away. Poor thing. I should have tried to rescue him earlier, but I wasn't sure where that fluttering noise was coming from. I was out on the porch swing and I think it had been going on for quite a while. So it's kind of my fault that I let him struggle, but I saved him. Today here at the Blended Nest, I am working outside. I have to pick up Rob here in an hour, so I don't wanna to get too involved with digging, et cetera. So I'm cleaning the, the pergola, and now I'm trying to clean right outside the door. I've got some plans for that that I'll show, with, show you here shortly. It involves moving that urn that's probably three foot tall and probably weighs, probably, <laughs> probably weighs more than me. Speaking of friends, do you remember when I didn't have a single friend on the face of this earth? I had not one friend. Well, that sounds dramatic. That's not true. I had friends, but not like I have friends today. I have tennis friends, and then I have tennis friends. Wait, let me back that up. I have friends that are tennis players. Then I have tennis players that are friends. Does that even make sense? What I'm saying is I have friends that I play tennis with that I invite over for dinner. I have friends that are tennis players that I only see out on the court. So I'm gonna change that though. Tomorrow night we are having two couples over that we all play tennis. Well, the majority of us, five out of six. And then here in a couple weeks, I am going to invite a lot of people that were on my spring tennis teams and the ones that are on my summer. <laughs> Bug. I think he ran down the stairs. I would say for the most part, all of the people that I play tennis with, I enjoy their company. And a lot of the tennis players that were on my spring team are now on my summer team. And I'm actually putting together a clinic on Thursday nights. So the people that really want to do better, play better together, et cetera, we're going to start playing on Thursday nights, <coughs> taking a clinic. Pardon me. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on today. So a lot of those people I am going to invite over here in a couple weeks to have a little soiree at our house. I think that would be fun gotten a couple questions about this this shirt along with the red one that I was wearing the other day and I will share that also Antique Candle Co is having a very special candle sale I'll share that with you as well but I wanted to show you what I was moving and where this is a total jungle behind me this is what I kind of want to work on along with this flower bed I'm gonna work on this today and tomorrow because if we're having people over this is the backyard and I, I love the layout, but this is a total mess. This is going to be worked on today. We put this rock wall in two years ago and the soil, the dirt has sunk down. So I need to bring in more dirt. This is going to be my bird area. So whatever goes in here will be bird friendly. This is where I wanted to put the porch swing, but when I was sitting on the porch swing in the sun today, I thought maybe I need two. <laughs> maybe I need two porch swings because it's so nice sitting in the sun in the morning. And if I had another one here, I could sit here in the late afternoon. I can't remember if I told you this the other day, but that urn, well, here, I don't know if you can see it because it's very, very, it's dark. So this urn that's probably two and a half feet tall, maybe three feet tall, I want to put it right in this corner because honestly, nothing really goes in this corner. I have, I have, the last three years, I have struggled trying to figure out 
what to put here. No one sits here. I've had benches. I've had chairs. This is not a sitting area. I thought about putting some type of potting bench here, but I don't know if that's the first thing you want to see when you walk in. So the other day I was thinking if I move that urn here with a nice bush type tree thing, I think that might work. I'm also going to declutter this today. I need to sell that lounger, that little table. I really want to get rid of that tree. I hate doing that, but I, I might sell that rhododendron, rhododendron tree or trim it down and maybe put it in the urn. I don't know. That might be an idea, but it needs trimmed and then it needs to be straightened up because it's, it's falling over. But this is gonna be decluttered today as well because it looks, it doesn't look very good. Question yesterday when I was wearing this white shirt, I got these from Old Navy and actually I have it in black this periwinkle and this is called magnolia. It's not quite bright white. It has a little bit of a little bit of color to it, as you can see. This along with the red one that I'm going to show you, these are my favorite favorite tank tops. All three of these have ribs on the side. They they go up and down. I like that they're very slimming on the side and they're not tight right here. I'm not, I don't like tightness. They're stretchy. You can wash them, you can dry them, but all my sports stuff like this, I hang out to dry. They come in two other colors besides this. And they, I forgot to say they have this tea back too. I, I live in these in the summer. got a question about this one the other day. This is another one of my favorite tank tops. These are both very, very light, very, very stretchy. I have this one in this color, this color, and I think I have it in a purple color too. I know it comes in khaki and some other colors, but this one hides whatever happens here as you get older. This one hides that, and I like that. It's also very slimming, and it doesn't, it's not tight here. It's very, very stretchy, lightweight, and again, I wash them and hang them out, and they, you can dry them. Actually, I think I just dried this one. I usually just hang them out to dry, but, but I don't know. I live in these, and I love them. I just came in for a break. I needed some agua. And I got a message from one of my friends asking if those tops are true to size. I should have mentioned that. I did not. This one, oh, sorry. I was underneath the tree and my hair was falling out. So these three, I wear a medium. Yes, medium. These two... This one and this one, and this one's the one that's really good for the, the stuff that happens there. I size down to a small because this one was a little bigger around the, the I was gonna say midriff. <laughs> I think this is the midriff, the waist. So small and medium. I wanted to show you how much I've gotten done so far. I've cleaned out all of this and then it just kept going because you know, you can't stop. So then I kept going around here and I've gotten all of this done. And then I started weeding around there and weeding around there. This tree, I am watering every other day. It's not happy as you can tell. But when I bend it, some of it breaks and the stuff that's in here bends. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this makes it. I don't know. But then I also got all this done and I'm working my way around there. I drug this planter over here because I thought of putting it there, but then I remembered that I have these here that's too much. So I'm going to try to look for on Facebook marketplace, some kind of 
something to put right there. I don't know. And what else? Oh, and I was going to put these, these stones in here as steps because I, I've always wanted them there. And I just think from a view like this, it's very nice. And then you just, I don't know. I just like these paths. I've always wanted a path right here too, all the way around to the pergola. But I'm just doing this today. Now that I'm thinking of it, I could actually paint that with a some kind of cement stone paint. And I've always wanted something back here. On here. If I'm not mistaken, the, the, the owners that we bought the house from, they did have a planter right here. So I could move this and put the planter there. Because that might be cute. Yeah, it might work. Yesterday I shared the Antique Candle Co. has their best selling candle on sale, 25% off. If you've never smelled Mama's Kitchen, it, it, it smells, it has all the good stuff in it. It has cinnamon, it has apple. It smells like someone is baking basically an apple pie. This one currently is 25% off, but the best way to buy these are in a bundle because they've marked down the bundle and then you get 25% off on top of that. On top of Mama's Kitchen Candle being on sale, now they have some of their best summer candles on sale. Four of them here, the pineapple coconut, that one's long gone. I love that candle. The Country Pear, which is delightful. North Shore, which is great. Georgia Peach. This, this smells like you just bit into a peach. This is delightful. And Sun Kissed Citrus. If you love citrus, this is the candle for you. All these are 10% off, but you can use my code for an additional 20. And always check out the bundles because they do really well with bundles, and then you can stack my code on top of them, and then you save even more money. As always, they offer free shipping and happiness guarantee. If you are not a fan of the candle, they will send you one that you love.